Hey, Colorado Card Crew, how you doing? I'm going to do an unboxing of 2013 Panini Golden Age. That is right, Golden Age. I feel like opening up some stuff. And I've done um, Horse Time is Right, Dave. Horse Time is Right, my last box of Golden Age. We did 2012. We did 2014. Now we're going to finish it up with 2013. Uh, this one's got autographs and memorabilia cards also. Just to recap, our last Golden Age box. We got the Butch Patrick, which is uh, Eddie Munster. And we got the Angie Dickinson. Wow. Yes, Angie Dickinson. 30-day vacation. I'm on a two-week vacation, but we have to work from home, which sucks. Arana Boys is in the house. I finally get you on a stream. Oh my goodness. I feel privileged. I feel privileged that Spidey is on my live stream. I don't know if I'm going to be very nervous now because Spidey's on. So uh, I'll, I'll probably make a lot of mistakes. So let's break. Wow, this is more. Four people is the max. Oh, I did have four people. Now it's down to three. Well, three people is still the max I've ever had on a live stream, so. Let's break into this. We are opening up 2013 Golden Age Panini. Uh, look for one collectible exhibit box topper per box. And one autograph, or find autographs and memorabilia cards. There's usually like two hits in a box. I was showing, before you came on, Spidey, I was uh, showing you. Showing them my last box I opened. I got a Butch Patrick, Eddie Munster. Remember Eddie Munster? There he is. The little man. Autograph. Kind of cool. And Angie Dickinson. Dave thinks that's a piece of her panties. I don't believe it. I think he's wrong, but who knows. Dave is the panty expert in the, in the uh, uh, cardboard syndicate. So if anybody would know, I guess it would be him. <laughs> All right, let's break this thing open. Scratch and sniff, yay. That's what probably started the coronavirus, Dave. Scratch and sniff. I just uploaded a bunch of videos that are going to be, uh, I have them scheduled out throughout the rest of the week, so. Because I got my boy this weekend, so I won't be posting much, but got it all ready. All right, here is our golden hand. That looks awesome, doesn't it? The golden, it looks like a golden ticket. But this is our box topper. Let's see what we get. And we got, oh, we got Grace Kelly. Look at that. Hubba hubba. Grace Kelly. Awesome card. Not a big fan of box toppers. They never really have autographs or anything in them, but. All right, let's see what we get. 2012 had a lot of horses. 2014 only had a little bit of horses. So let's see what 2013 holds for us here. All right, we start off with Smoking Joe Frazier. Grandpa was bedridden <laughs> until there was free chocolate involved. Funny. Oh, look at that. Evil Knievel on the playing card. That's awesome. Ten of clubs. I like the, I like these playing cards. This is a good thing that they did that year. Hopefully we get some more of those. All right. We got this little mini guy of Frank Chance, first base, Chicago. Uh, we got Eve Plum, the actress. Who is she? Is she in the Brady Bunch? Yep, Brady Bunch. All right, we got Donna Douglas. I have no idea who she is. 
She oh, she was in the Beverly Hillbillies. See, I was never a big Beverly Hills Hillbilly fan. I bet you Spidey was a big Beverly Hillbilly fan. I bet you, he looks like he would be a fan of them. <laughs> and Jean Harlow, the actress. There's a lot of act actresses in that pack. All right, so we got George Brett. Keith Hernandez. Ooh, I think we got something good here. We'll save that to the last here. Our mini is the SS Edmund Fitzgerald. We got Doak Walker, Detroit Tigers, or Detroit Lions. Bill Sunday, the Evangelist. Trust Speaker. Back to that Keith Hernandez. Let's see. Oh, we're upside down here. It's a memorabilia card. Is that? Oh, I thought that was almost Max Bear. Max Bear, the actor. That's a nice little plaid shirt, though, from him. What did he do? Oh, he was on the Beverly Hillbillies, too. No wonder I don't know who he is. It was an okay show? See, I thought you would be into the Beverly Hillbillies. I mean, us from Chambersburg, I mean, we know a lot of Hillbillies, so. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There's our first hit. Let's leave that up. I can. All right, so we got our first hit. Hopefully, one of many. You working tonight, Spidey? David Pollock, Bad News Bears. Oh man, I love the Bad News Bears. Junior Executive Council. <laughs> See, I, you're probably the only person that, that watches it, Dave, in, in here, so uh, you're just making jokes for yourself. <laughs> All right. Bad News Bears. We got to insert uh, the perfection. The 72 Dolphins, right? 72 Dolphins for going 17 and 0. Spacer. Mini of Alan Hale. Oh, it's a skipper. A skipper. Lana Turner. I think that's what we should do, Spidey, is you and me, we should do the Skipper and Gilligan video. I think you and I could pull that off. Elizabeth Montgomery and Helen Wills, the tennis star. Eighty-four days, no way off. You're like the Cal Ripken of convenience stores, Spidey. Calling a professor order. Oh, if I get a professor autograph, I'm going to be stoked. Sparky Anderson. And there we got another playing card of two of hearts of Jan Stevenson, LPGA golfer. I think I might try to collect these playing cards. I think they're awesome. They came out with playing cards in the 70s, a whole bunch of different sports. Um, I have a Fran Tarkenton from the 70s as a playing card. But I like these Golden Age ones. Kind of neat. All right, let's see who else we got. We got the, who's that? Tommy Smothers. Oh, the Smothers Brothers. I remember them. And we got Brooks Robinson. Three Stooges. Another Three Stooges. Nice card. Stan Musial. I like Stan Musial. That would be an awesome video, man. We haven't done a video in a while. Jerry Lewis, lady, Dick Smothers. Oh, we got we got the oh we got both Smothers, we got both Smothers brothers. One's big, one's little. All right, who we got there? William Buckwheat Thomas from the Little Rascals. Oh, Buckwheat. There's that Max Bear again. Frank Chance, and Lyndon Johnson, the President of the United States. Oh, another bad news bears. Gary Gary Lee Cavanaugh. Kevin Kevin Nora or something like that. That was the uh, fat kid catcher. To me, I'm sorry, but I think the original bad news bears is better than the Sandlot. 
You can fight me if you want, but I, I just like the Bad News Bears so much better. I mean, Kelly Lee, Kelly Lee was iconic. Nobody in the Sandlot can match Kelly Lee. And another playing card, we got Buck Weaver for Chicago. Our mini is Eva Gardner. John L. Sullivan, boxing champ. Abe Attell, boxing champ. And Ron Swoboda. Ron Swoboda. Do, do, do. All right, we got Len Barney, Hall of Fame Detroit Lion. We got a, uh, what is that here? Bread of Energy, Golden Age Buck Leonard, Negro League Hall of Famer. They did this in, uh, Bath, he did this in basketball back in, what year was that? I think it was, I forget what year it was, but they did basketball cards like these too. There's old Buck Leonard. Our mini is Ron Serling. From Twilight Zone, wasn't he? Ron Serling? Twilight? No? Maybe Star Trek? I don't know. All right, Henry Fonda, the actor. Fielding Yost, the football coach. And Harry Houdini, the illusionist. Carl Eller, Minnesota Vikings. Bob Gibson on the uh, playing card. Yeah, I like it. the remake was good, but it wasn't as good as the original. Morticia Adams bikini card. I would love a Morticia Adams bikini card. For some reason, they have a there's an app on the Amazon TV called Pluto, and they have an Adams channel. They have an Adams Family channel. All they do is show the Adams Family 24 hours a day. And my one and a half year old boy just loves watching the Adams family. He'll just sit there for hours, watch episode after episode. All right, we got Matthew Steiny Beard. I don't know who he is. Mel Ott, Walter Cronkite, and Rudolph Valentino. All right, another Smothers Brothers. Oh, there's our auto. Oh, it's one of the Bad News Bears. Ahmad Abdul Rahim. There he is. You're a Hispanic League Hall of Famer. <laughs> there's our auto, Bad News Bears. I think I might go on eBay and see who else they have in Bad News Bears autos. I might just try to get the collection. That is awesome. It's the back of the part card. Nice auto of the Bad News Bears. Well, hopefully we get some another hit maybe somewhere. Penny Marshall from Laverne and Shirley. Joe Wood. Grace Kelly. And Penny Marshall again. The Penny Marshall Pack. Alright, we got Earl Campbell. We got the insert of Usual Joints 3000 Hit Club, Stan Musial. Spacer. Uh, who's this? Stan Musial again. Uh, Arnold Rothstein, the gambler. He's the one who uh, put the money up, I think, for the uh, Chicago White Sox, the Black Sox scandal, if I recall correctly. There's that Matthew Stymie Beard. What was he in? Uh, oh, he was in our gang. More cities are saying gas stations are staying open. Yeah, I think even in PA, uh, they consider gas stations essential. So, Tommy Davis. But gas prices are dropping like tremendous. Up here in uh, Middletown, PA, it's down to like two nineteen a gallon. Tatum O'Neill for the Bad News Bears. Oh, there's Grace Kelly and the Queen of Hearts. Nice. It's a cool set. I like this. Eve Plummer, the actress. And I got the, these boxes for 30 bucks. So 30 bucks for this box. I'll, you know, that's not bad. Ed Cranepool. Herbert Hoover. 
and Bob Hope. Remember watching the Bob Hope specials when I was a kid. Yeah, I think that was an awesome hit too. Like I said, I think I might try to get the whole Bad News Bears auto collection. I'm gonna check that out on uh, Facebook to, or on eBay tonight. Ron Guidry, the Sitco will never close, man, never close. Carlton Fist, that's a white one. I wonder if that's a little bit worth a little bit more. You see, we got non-white and white, not numbered though. Uh, Elizabeth Montgomery, the actress, Gil Hodges, Jake Dobbert for Brooklyn, and Sp Spanky McFarlane, the Little Rascals, our gang. You know, Spidey, I used to work at uh, Rudder's in Fayetteville. And then I worked at, I don't know if you remember, the gas station in downtown in Chambersburg called Mr. B's. Uh, I worked there for about a year or so. So I'm in the same boat. I worked at gas stations before quite a bit. The worst part was people coming in and asking for directions because I'm horrible with directions. So I, But if you told me a fast food place, I knew exactly where that was. So I basically I would tell them where the fast food places were. We've got gas. <laughs> Don Maynard. Red Grange, tip top. Look at that thing. What a nice looking card. Halfback Chicago. Uh, we got Jerry Lewis, mini. Al Lopez. Gene Tunney, boxing champ. And Jim Thorpe. Legendary Jim Thorpe. He was a great baseball player, great football player, track and field. I could do everything. All right, Mike Schmidt, Michael Jackson Schmidt. Another Brad Energy. This one is Norm Cash for the Detroit Tigers. And we got Tris Speaker. We got gas out the ass. <laughs> Grantland Rice. There's Alan Hale again, the bigger size. Eva Gabor. I haven't seen any of the other Gilligan Island guys yet. Carlton Fisk. There's a special insert. Earl Campbell. Card number 19. Kind of a different looking card they put in. The mini is Carlton Fisk. Hack Wilson. Ted Simmons, and Johnny Evers. That was a, almost a whole baseball pack there, except for one football guy. Dave, I don't think we're going to get any horses, man. I have not seen one horse yet or a jockey. I think what happened was in 2013, they didn't do any horses. They got a lot of complaints. They brought the horses back in 2014. Just my guess. Bob Greasy. Stan Lee, there he is. Stan the man. I got to meet him once. I got an autograph. I got a poster of an I got an autograph poster that he signed for me of all the Marvel characters. I got that framed up in my living room. But there he is, Stan the Man. God rest his soul. And we got a mini of Angel Cordero. There's a jockey, Angel Cordero. I've heard of him. It's like the only jockey I think I've heard of ever. Wally Pips. Gerald Ford and William Howard Taft. All right, I got Bo Schembechler, coach for Michigan. There's another Bo, the King of Hearts. Bo Schembechler. That should have been his nickname, the King of Hearts. Though, technically, the King of Hearts is Owen Hart. God rest his soul. But. All right, Thomas Hearns, Bob Gibson, Richie Ashburn, and Al Kaline. Detroit Tigers, Al Kaline. I think this got a spacer in it. Yeah. We got Jan Stevenson, the golfer. She's pretty hot. At least a hot picture of her. Dale Murphy. Always like Dale. 
Uh, many of the Bad News Bears, the guy that I got the autograph of, Aaron Blunt. Unsinkable, Molly Brown, a socialite. Ugh, not my cup of tea. Bobby Jones and Joe Morgan. With a finger in the air. Alright, we got Steve Stone, pitcher for Baltimore. I'm surprised I made a card for him. He was alright, but there's Bo Derek. Hubba hubba, Bo Derek, man. Gorgeous woman. We got Fred Merkel. What's this? The Apollo 11 from NASA. Jacob Rupert. And Walter Hagen, U.S. Open winner, Walter Hagen. All right, last stack. We got, let's see, two, four, five packs left. That one feels kind of thick. We'll save that one for the end. I'd like to get at least one more hit out of here. All right, Johnny Bench, Thomas Hearns. These minis always fall out. Three Stooges Mini, Jim Bottingley, first baseman of St. Louis, Henry Winkler, the Fonz. Hey, I don't do it as good as he does. Henry Winkler. Also loved him in Waterboy, too. Blue Blazer Forever. You got that right. Bill Freehand, catcher for Detroit. It was cool how the Fonz used to hit the jukebox, though, and get it to play. I always kind of like that. Barry Williams. He's throwing the Brady Bunch. I think that was... I forget which one he played. But one of the Brady Bunches. Three Stooges insert. The Kings of Slapstick Comedy. There we go. Three Stooges. Uh, many of Jerry Lewis again. Rocky Marciano. Jane Russell. And Fred Merkel, first baseman, New York. Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh, there's Dawn Wells, and she was from Gilligan's Island. She is the Ten of Hearts. There she is. That's Marianne, right? I believe it is. Oh, I could be wrong. We got Jim Thorpe Mini. We got Honest Abe Lincoln, who was also a professional wrestler, if you didn't know that. He should have been on your list for top 64 wrestlers of all time, Dave. Abe Lincoln. Newt Rockney, legendary coach. And Ralph Terry, pitcher for New York. Always more of a Hagler fan. Yeah, Hagler was good. They're both kind of thick. Let's, I hope we get at least one more hit out of one of these two packs. I've had some last pack mojo lately. And that is a spacer, so not on this one. Barry Switzer. David Stambaugh. Bad News Bears. <laughs> the lie detector. Uh, uh, Jack Dembert. Or his finishing move could be the Emancipation. That sounds impressive. I don't know what it would be. It'd be like a clothesline or a lariat or something. Call it the Emancipation. Mario Andretti. There's another thoroughbred. Riva Ridge. Never heard of that horse. Hey, obvious, how you doing? Dave, could you give us an update on Riva Ridge, the thoroughbred horse? Because I have no idea. And Flight 19 Mystery. I uh, don't know what the mystery was. They probably never came back is probably what the Flight 19 mystery was. All right, we got some last pack mojo, hopefully. Move these over to the side. Not doing too bad. We are opening, we're done to the last pack of 2013 Panini Golden Age. And so far we've gotten a Ahmad Abdul Rahim Bad News Bears auto. And... From the Beverly Hillbillies, Max Bear Jr., piece of his shirt. Or his boxers, I don't know, one of the things. Bermuda Triangle Hot Lost Flights. I figured it was something like that. 
All right, last pack. And I think... Oh, we got a spacer. That sucks. I hate spacers. We got the SS Edmund Fitzgerald. We got Johnny Evers, Chicago, with the four of spades. I think that's... Or clubs. One of the two. I don't know. Not a card person. We got Sam McDowell. Oh, we got double back-to-back -back Sam McDowell. We got Big Sam McDowell, Little Sam McDowell. Big Sam McDowell, Little Sam McDowell. For Cleveland. We got Rod Serling, executive producer. And we finish it with Al Simmons from Philadelphia. There you guys go. That was a $30 box of 2013 Panini Golden Age. So what you guys think? For 30 bucks? I don't think that's too bad, right? I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. I mean, you get an auto, you get a piece of clothing. I mean, and now I'm going to start collecting all these Bad News Bears autographs. Yeah. So, definitely that. The Max Bear, I might, I don't know what I'll do. I'm going to see if it sells for on eBay or see if anybody's interested in Max Bear. Maybe I'll throw it in one of my hot boxes and really confuse people. <laughs> Uh, so there you guys go. That is about all I got, I think. Yeah, that's all I got for now. Uh, just posted an update on the April box, so that's coming out soon. Thank goodness I was able to get my cards in before everything started closing. So we are giving away, uh, we got, for baseball, we're going to give this 2004 Timelines jersey card of Albert Pujols away. And what else did I have given away? Uh... There's another card too, but I forget where it went. Huh. Thought I had another card. Oh, we're also doing this Michael Bourne number two of three. Look at that patch. That patch is sweet. Triple threads. The uh, hot, the trick or treat hot packs that didn't sell, I opened them up and we're using them to get for giveaways in our hot boxes. So these are the top two hits in baseball for the hits for April. For football, we are doing, uh, what do we got here? We got Reggie Bush rookie jersey from Bowman Sterling. And we got the Manti Teo. I like this Manti Teo because it's got like cloth and then it's got plastic. So I don't know what that's actually from. You guys have any idea if that's, is that a piece of his shoe? But I wouldn't think he wouldn't have a pink shoe. They have a towel in the picture, but... Or maybe a wristband, but it's kind of cool how it's just cloth and then plastic on either side. So we're going to give that Manti Teo out for f both Manti Teo and the Reggie Bush for football subscribers this month. And we're giving bonus packs. Uh, baseball, we're giving 2020 from the fake girlfriend. Yeah, that's, maybe it is from the fake girlfriend. That would be interesting. Yeah, it could be. So for baseball, you're going to get a, a fourth four packs in your box. You're going to get 2020 Tops Opening Day Extra Pack. And for football, I'm giving an extra pack of 1991 Ultra Football, trying to find that Brett Favre rookie card. So everybody's going to at least get four packs in their box instead of three for April. And I promise it will be coronavirus-free. I hope I can say that when I start shipping. <laughs> So, all right, guys, I will check you guys later. I'm going to go watch some TV or eat uh, some unhealthy snack and then probably go to bed because I actually have to work from home tomorrow, like every day. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.